Day 10 of getting ready for Algebra 2. So in this case, we have a multi-step inequality. And again, I don't like having these parentheses in here. I need to get rid of them. That's always going to be our first step. To get rid of the parentheses, just apply the distributive property. So in this case, I'll have a 3x minus 15 is less than a 4 minus 2 plus a positive 2x. Now I can go ahead and clean this up by combining those. So I have a 3x minus 15 is less than a 2 plus a 2x. Now remember, when we're solving an inequality, just like we're solving an equation, we want to get the variable to the same, we want to get all of our variables over to the same side. Preferably, I like to have it on the left-hand side. You can always reflect it though at the end. So let's subtract this 2x over here. And then at the same time, we can add the 15 on both sides as well. So therefore that's going to be an x is going to be less than, that goes to zero, um, is less than 17. Now again, for an inequality, we want to make sure we can go ahead and graph this. So let's put 17 here right in the middle. I could say 18 would be to the right and a 16 would be to the left. Now this is saying x is less than 17 or all the solutions to this inequality are going to be numbers that are less than 17, not equal to. So if it's less than and not equal to, it's going to be an open circle. And then we just need to determine, well, all the numbers that would be less than 17 are all going to be going to the left. Now you're ready for day 11.